Hey everybody, Roger Levin here with your orthodontic practice production pearl of the week. I want to explain the concept of integrated systems and why some parts of your practice may be stronger than others, but despite those strong systems, the practice is still operating down here. We have a new client, and I love to talk about real life experiences. I will never solicit you from these pearls as I often remind you, but this is real life, who had had consulting in several areas of the practice. They had had scheduling consulting, they had had TC consulting, but it just wasn't coming together. It's not that the consulting was bad. When we finally did the complete analysis, we found that the issue was that one area would improve, others would not, that one would gradually settle back down as times were changing, another area would improve, others would not, that would settle back down. You need integrated systems, or at Levine Group, what we call comprehensive systems. But let's use the word integrated, it's a better word for today. Integrated means all the systems are working together, integration. Scheduling affects efficiency, affects flow, affects clinical treatment, affects team stress levels, affects your stress level if you're an orthodontist, affects patients' perception of service because they feel the stress level. Uh, the TC is often very behind current times. Competitions expanding in ortho. I've talked to you in these pearls about the need to answer patient questions up front and not wait and let them leave thinking, well, maybe I'll check out that $1,999 aligner fee over there, or I saw an ad over here, or no down payment, or extended payments, or whatever it may be. You've got to address competitive factors up front without talking about competition, but then the TC process has to integrate with the orthodontist, getting into the room in time, understanding the role of the doctor, not spending so much time that you create more questions and confusion than you answer, how that relates back to giving fees, how that relates back to collecting money, and how all of that relates back to scheduling and patient flow. I mean, I could give you a million examples. We're finding many practices where we shave 10 minutes an hour, they pick up two months a year of doctor production time. We're doing a lot of work now with remote monitoring, which is gonna be part of the future. Some of you may not have embraced that yet, Yet. I'm not speaking clinically, whether you think it's good or bad, that's not my role. I'm looking at market forces and where things are going. There's so many changes taking place in ortho that the systems need to be integrated to work together to get the best result. A good example would be sports teams. Unless you have one of the greatest athletes ever created, most sports teams do far better when all parts of the team's office, offense, defense, and everything else are integrated in how they operate. So that's food for thought. As always, I wish you increased practice production and referrals every year, and I'll see you next week.